Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Career Q, a place to curate your career. I have come to discuss another SAP tool or another SAP module, I would say rather, which is I think the basic or the most common uh, module or the you know uh, the entire structure of SAP tool depends on this module and you might be knowing which module I'm talking about that is none other but SAP basis yes SAP basis is the primary or the you know major component that is there within the SAP tool and we will be trying to know more on what this SAP basis is and what uh, you know what you need to do when you are uh, thinking of going into SAP basis or uh, who should or who is or who can go into SAP basis whether as freshers you will be able to get a job or not what you can do how you can do how much you can earn what is the career growth what is the scope of this tool and a lot more every aspect as we used to cover for the previous components as well we will be covering that for sap basis just be with us till the end of the video to know all about sap basis so that you can take a well-informed decision about your career prospect and with that being said let's get started with the video so the first and foremost thing is what does actually SAP basis mean? So basis is not one word. It is actually a shorter form for a much bigger name. The entire name of SAP basis is business application software integration service. So yeah, that is what basis goes by. And I know that this might not have helped you, but yet if you want to make a career into it, then you should know what the name stands for, right? So what does this SAP basis do? It is actually known as one of the most critical components. And I've told you why, because the entire SAP tool relies on this thing. So, you know, it is a critical component and is responsible for the administration and the management of the SAP systems. Okay. So all the SAP systems that are running, that will be uh, the SAP basis will be in the backend management managing and administrating and managing the entire thing. So that is what SAP basis is. Again, if you take in the layman terms, then it is or it has the admin or the security job. That is the job type or um, or the role that you can say, okay, the admin role or the security based role for the SAP system, the entire ecosystem of SAP that will be managed by SAP basis. It involves activities like system installation, configuration, performance, security configurations, security management, and this entire system monitoring. These activities will come within the SAP basis module or the SAP basis component. Additionally, it is not just about the system. Look, so when we talk about the system, it is not just about managing the OS or, you know, managing uh, the backup jobs and all of those things. Apart from that, SAP basis is also responsible for management of the databases. So yes, it is, uh, you know, it includes everything. It includes the security side, it includes the network side, it includes the installation, it in includes configuration, it includes performances, it includes uh, databases, you know, it is a huge uh, environment or a huge module and there are a lot of jobs however you can see that it is all you know admin based jobs or uh, jobs that do not require much coding so yeah that's a good news for you guys that uh, any of you who is not a coder or not so much of a coder and wants to make a career in the non-coding side of the IT sector then SAP basis might be one of the tools that you can consider for your future so the next fact is whether this has a growing market whether it has scope in India outside India whether SAP basis has any scope so let me tell you that as we know from all the previous videos as well that SAP itself has a lot of scope okay so SAP basis being the core of SAP tool it has a lot of scope as well because you know till the time SAP will be there SAP basis will be there or maybe there will be some developments however SAP basis will still be there so yes, SAP basis has an immense uh, opportunity and a great opportunity within India or even outside India. You can get a hold of an SAP job. Uh, although yes, it is a bit tough. It is competitive and they are looking for experts in the domain or in that field. However, if you learn this thing, you know, uh, and you gain some experience, then there is no way that it can stop you or anybody can stop you. So yeah. SAP does or SAP basis does have a very bright future and if you want to make a career in it 
you should definitely go for it. One important thing that you need to consider or you need to know, um, you know, when or if you are deciding whether you should go with it or not is that as an SAP basis professional, you will be uh, needing to keep up with the tool and you will be needing to keep up with the uh, recent developments and the recent upgrades and you will be uh, needing to understand and study and keep on studying okay so that, that is one thing I know that there are several people who run away from studying they are like I know this thing I will do this thing that's it so you know if you are that kind of a person who doesn't want to study and who doesn't want to keep up with the or who doesn't can keep with the you know uh, growing trends and growing upgrades then this might not be the most correct tool for you why because SAP is every day it is upgrading itself it is making itself more and more mature and since sap tool itself is doing this the core that is sap basis that is also getting more and more mature it is getting more upgrades every now and then and as an sap basis professional you will be needing to keep up with all of those okay what was there previously what has changed what is the benefit of it why was it needed when or how has the things how has the previous things got gotten impacted everything you know you need to understand these things and which is why you have to keep up with the growing trends and you have to keep studying about it so you know it is a um, work in progress kind of a thing so you need to keep up with the trends now if we talk about uh, whether freshers are given an opportunity to join SAP basis then I would say that here it is a bit difficult for uh, any fresher to get hold of an SAP basis job because as I've already said it is the basic or the core of the entire ecosystem of SAP whatever tool you are using or whatever other module you are using it is this is the basic or the underlying module that will be there so you know uh, it automatically needs or asks for a, a senior employee or a, an employee who has gained some experience. So what I would suggest as a fresher, you will uh, definitely not get a job because it is very rare, you know, in the market, they don't even look for freshers for as an SAP basis professional, they are only searching for experienced candidates. Okay, so what I would suggest is that if uh, any of you are wanting to go into SAP basis then get into uh, an organization get into one job and then from or within that organization try to shift your work or your project from whichever tool you're working into into a project which has this SAP basis thing try to learn more about it try to uh, you know take training videos and uh, other things and when I say take training videos I am in no way saying go and fill uh, you know some organization please don't do that please go and look out or search out for the free materials there are ample of courses even if you feel or uh, you know when you are in an organization then uh, you will be having some third party learning platforms please utilize them to the best and you know learn more about uh, this tool try to get into a project or try to at least talk to seniors who are working as SAP basis um, professionals within your organization in that way you will be getting more and more knowledge uh, and you know experience about how SAP professionals are working and what are they working on so you know uh, my whole point being that getting a job as a fresher into SAP basis is uh, difficult and you should be looking to get more knowledge and more experience first and then trying on directly to hit an SAP basis professional job. So the next is of course uh, the question that whether you need to do any certification and to this particular module of SAP I would say that yes if you are someone who has been certified then you will be looked upon as a much better candidate because you know this is one of the core uh, things so if there is something or there is a certification that uh, attests or says that yes this person has this kind of knowledge and he has or he or she has completed the certification then that will give or that will be an added advantage to your profile and it will actually boost your profile so it is recommended that you actually go and take one of the certifications so now we come on to the last segment which is how much can you expect if you are joining in as an SAP basis professional so you know we have talked about the career aspect and how you can get into what you need to do and a lot more now is the time to know that if you take that much of pain and you get into or become an SAP basis professional, then how much is it that you're going to earn? So the salary of an SAP basis professional goes as follows. As an entry level candidate, that is a person who has a zero to two years of experience. However, that they do not hire any of these people, but still there is a salary range that they have kept and the market uh, that the salary range that you know these people get is somewhere in between 4 to 8 LPA which is not bad you know there are some tools that give only 3 to 5 LPA and this 
itself as a fresher if you are luckiest of the lucky enough then you will be getting somewhere in between 4 to 8 LPA you never know but this is a bit difficult as I've already discussed in the video. So going forward, if you are a mid-level employee with say two to five years of experience, then your salary can be anywhere around eight to 15 LPA. Moving ahead as a, an experienced candidate with an experience of anywhere in between five to 10 years of experience, then your salary can be anywhere in between 15 LPA to 25 LPA. That is how much you can earn guys. And as a senior level employee that is, you know, above 10 years of experience, you can be earning above 25 LPA or even 30 LPA. Now, if you are getting into a product based company, then this figure can actually be as high as 40 LPA. However, if you are in a service based company, then it can be anywhere in between 25 to 30 LPA. Of course, this depends on a lot of external factors as well. Yeah, that's all that I have for you in today's video. I hope that I've been able to give you a clear picture of what SAP basis module looks like and everything around it. And if there is anything that I might have missed, then please put them down in the comment section so that everyone gets informed of it. Also, if there is any other tool technology, maybe from SAP, maybe from any other tool that you want to know more about and you want me to cover in my videos, please put them down in the comment section as well. I'll definitely try to make another video out of it. And um, yeah, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. I'll come again tomorrow with another new video. Till then, stay tuned to Career Q. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.